Hello and welcome to RC Model Reviews and another bit of a tutorial on these four button chargers that are now so popular and extremely cost effective. I'm using the Turnigy AccuCell 6 which I found to be an extremely good charger. I use it all the time. In fact I've got a couple of them because they work so well. What I'm going to show you today is how to actually set up your charger to memorize the settings for various battery packs you may use regularly. What I'm going to use here is, for example, I have a 2200 milliampere hour pack here, three cell LiPo. I have a 2650 milliamp, four cell LiPo. And I also have a three cell LIFE pack, 1500 milliamps. This is the type of one you'd use in your transmitter. And these, again, these are brilliant. So much better than even the Interloop AA cells because they charge quickly and they have a, no sort of leakage. There's no self discharge when the transmitter is not being used. So I recommend those too. Now, let's have a look. Let's set up the different batteries that we are going to charge. Let's start with the 1500 LIFE, our transmitter battery, which will probably charge once a month because they just keep going for so long. So what we need to do in order to set up our memories is move to through the type button through to save data because we're going to be saving data in the charger's memory. So we accept that with the enter button. You'll see now we have here save and then a flashing number. That's the memory number we're going to allocate to this battery. And if you step forwards and backwards you'll see there's there's quite a few. There's, um, there's at least five different memories we can save to. So it enables us to save half a dozen of our most commonly used battery settings. So let's accept number one. Let's change number one. At the moment it's set to PB which is lead. And we're not going to use a lead. We're going to use a live fee. So we need to step through. Here we go. Live fee. Now this is because my charger has been set up to do live fee. If it was set up to do LiPo it would say LiPo. And we'll see how to change that later on the next battery but there we go we want to charge live fee so we accept that and down here wants to know the battery voltage and of course it's a three cell live fee which is it probably says on it 9.9 .9 volts somewhere I can't see if it says it yeah here we go 9.9 .9 volts there's in so 9.9 .9 volts is correct so we can accept that and then we need to know the battery capacity now this is not the charge current it's actually the capacity of the battery and that ensures the charger doesn't overcharge your battery and this one as it says on the label is 1500 milliamp hour so that's a little bit big we'll take it down to 1500 Oop, moves quite quickly 1500 milliamp hour so now we hold down this button charger beeps we're not finished yet because it needs more information first of all we press the enter key and the charge current now fortunately this one is set to 1.5 amps which is the current you charge this battery at for 1c so I don't have to change that I can just accept that and here's the voltage which was already set from the previous screen so we can accept that too we just hold down the start key now there we go that has been saved as memory number one but let's say we want to charge this battery as well which is our Gen's ACE 2200 milliampere hour pack three cell we need to again select the save data mode at this time we want to use memory 2 because we don't want to overwrite the memory we've already set up for our transmitter pack. So here we go. Uh, memory number 2. But before we go there, actually I just remembered, I'll just go back. We're in the live fee mode. So if I cycle through here you'll see live fee battery. Not LiPo but live fee. So I have to change that. And if you recall from an earlier video, we do that by going to the user set program which enables us to set the type of lithium battery we're charging. At the moment it's set to live fee so I press enter and I step through the there we go V type 3.7 lipo now we are in the lipo mode so I can go back to our save data I know it's a bit convoluted to start with but you only have to do this once per battery to set it up so now we go back to save data we go to memory number two and we accept that now we need to change this to lipo and this time it will come up lipo there we go and it's set to three cells already, like our battery, so that's good, but we could change it. We could go up and down in voltage. 11.1 .1 is the three cell voltage, but we could go to 7.4, 14.8, depending on how many cells we've got. And then the capacity. Remember, this isn't the charge current, it's the actual capacity of the battery. And this is a 2200, so we have to raise this one up to 2200. Oops, there we go, 2200. Hold the button down. And now the second screen for this memory, we need to know the charge rate. So 
So we select that charge rate. It's a 2200 pack, we charge at 1C, so we need to raise that up to 2.2. There you go, 2.2. It's already remembered it's a three cell pack, so hold this down. It means we've now set up program memory number two. Now our third battery is a, a Zippy 2650 four cell. It's a four cell pack, you can't actually see it, but it should say on there somewhere, four cells. So we need to again select save data. And this time, not memory number one, nor number two, but memory number three is required. And this is going to be a LiPo. It's 11.1 volts, not, it's actually 14.8 because it's a four cell pack. And it's a 2650 pack, so I have to lift this up to 2650. Hold that down, and now with the second screen, we need to go, I'll charge it at 2.5, or 26, 2.6 amps, which is 1C, and change that to 14.8 volts. Hold down the button. Here we go, so that's now all saved. So now I can check that, because I can go through to our, let's go through to LiPo, see what it's currently set at. Set it LiPo charge, that was the last one we set up. But let's say we want to charge the 2200 pack. We just go back to our, not memory save or data save, but data load. We go onto memory number two, and that is our 2200 pack, 11.1 volts. So we hold down the button to load that. And now we're all set up to charge this pack, 2200 at 1C, three cells. Okay, but let's say we want to charge that transmitter battery now. Go to data load. Oops, went too far. Went wrong way. Go to load. Where are we? Load data. Select that. Is that transmitter battery number one? Remember, we've got the step throughs here. We can see those. Number one is the transmitter battery. Number two is our 2200 pack. Number three is our 2650 four cell pack. So we just select whatever battery we want to charge. Hold down the button. It loads and we're all set up to charge it. So you can see if you've got half a dozen packs with different cell counts, different voltages, different chemistries, by setting up half a dozen memories, you can change all those parameters very quickly, very easily, without a lot of messing around, without wearing out the buttons of your four button charger. So that's how you do it. And that's probably the last tutorial in this series because now you should be able to change battery chemistries, set your charger up, save and recall the settings you use most commonly. And if you've got any questions, then you can either put them on the comments in this video, or you can go to the rcmodelreviews.com website and join the forums where there is a lot of other discussion going on. And if you've got those questions, pop them on the forums. If I'm not there to answer in time, someone else will certainly chime in and give you some information that will help you solve those problems. Thank you for watching the RC Model Reviews channel. Please subscribe if you're not a subscriber, and visit the website where you'll find lots of other RC reviews and cool information.